Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody doing? It's the gray man. Yeah, so last night I was trying to sleep. <clears throat> and I felt something under the mattress. Uh, like a lump or something. So I got up, I moved the mattress, and this is what I saw. Yes, guys. So I saw, this is, uh, by the way, this is called a Foley system. Right, this is what the mattress goes on top of. If you see here, see that air? So it's, it's uh, this thing was invented to allow airflow underneath the mattress. And it's kind of like, uh, it's like shocks, right? So what I found was some of these were turned over onto the other ones and I think that's from me moving the mattress back and forth sorry about this light um, so I think this is a factory error because some of these don't even have holes in them where there was no, they were never installed right they were never driven down with a hammer or anything so that's what I felt last night so that's what I'm working with today I'm gonna be trying to either drive those staples into the wood or I'm gonna have to go to Home Depot or Lowe's and get some, uh, you know, some heavier duty. And I'll fix it, you know, it's not that big of a deal. There it is. There's our hammer hatchet. I don't have a regular hammer. So if you guys remember what I told you, these things were never even uh, affixed to the platform, right? There were no staples put in to these at all, right? What they did was they stapled these in, but they didn't put it into the wood. So all you see is scratches here. You don't really see any holes. So that was a manufacturer uh, it wasn't a defect, it was just a fault of the manufacturer. So I got these heavier duty half inch, and we're going to drive those down into the platform. It's a simple thing, it should be done in no time. I'm just going to put several, and uh, we're not going to. We're not going to go too deep because we don't want to go through the platform. I think this is like a half an inch but we just want these to be stable. So the wood is, is pretty hard. I didn't really think it was gonna be that hard, but that's good, right? That's all we need, one on that side, one on this side, and uh, continue on and we'll be done. That's it guys, we're done. Hey guys, I'm back. So I'm looking around the van to see um, what else needs to be done. And it got pretty warm quickly. It was like 50 something degrees. Now it's almost 80. It's 79 degrees in here now. So um, what I'm gonna do now is I took the jacket off, took my hat off, um, changed t-shirts, freshened up a little bit. But I'm looking at the fan. I'm looking at this uh, Max fan, Max air fan up here. 
and it looks really dusty in there some dead bugs and everything I think I'm gonna take that off clean it I'm gonna clean the inside of the blades everything I think I'm gonna do the the bathroom has a vent has an electric vent um, and what else let me see oh and the AC has vents as well has filters so I think I'm gonna do all of those uh, today I think I'm gonna do that now as I'm in the mood to you know do some um, some maintenance stuff all right give me a sec yeah so that one there guys I'm gonna take that off um, you see all the I don't know how that stuff got there I guess bugs come in they get uh, hit by the fan and that's it for them it's kaputs so I'm going to clean this up as best I can I'm gonna take the vent off as well, the uh, the screen, sorry, the screen. I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna get in there and, and clean that. And then I'm gonna clean this up too. All right, so I'm gonna take this off. Hopefully I could just clean it. Otherwise I have to replace the filters on this thing. Okay, so I guess you got one filter here, one filter there. Uh, yeah. That, that, that seems okay. I think we can do that. And then the next one is this one in the bathroom. Hold on, let me get some light on it. Okay, so... Oh, here. Uh, yeah, this one is bad too. You see all those little guys in there hanging out? Yeah, so I'm going to try to clean all of these today. I don't know how I'm going to get this one out yet, but that'll be the last one. All right. So this one is very simple to get out. You just turn these tabs. Okay, you had to turn them all the way out, I guess. Yep, mm -hmm. yep, 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 it's coming. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm doing this with one hand. <laughs> Alright, well we gotta get to it. Yeah, so I'm hoping that by spraying this first, it'll keep some of the dust down. Um, you know. And we'll just, you know, go from there. Let that sit for a few. be nice to actually take the fan off I think I can maybe like some small Allen screw I don't know uh, we'll save that for another time so I cleaned this guy up it was filthy it was really disgusting but it looks great now doesn't look brand new but it looks good so I took that out cleaned that up I took the filters out of the AC, that one and that one, and I washed those so I didn't need to replace those. And then in the bathroom, I didn't do this one yet. I didn't do this one yet. I'll do this one tomorrow. I didn't figure out how to take it out yet, but it, it does look a little nasty in there. Yeah, so I'll do that one tomorrow. Yeah, guys, so I'm going to try to cook on this new bamboo steamer that I have 
I'm gonna see how that works out. I'm gonna um, lay thing. I'm gonna lay everything on parchment paper. Uh, put it in the baskets. The basket has two different levels that you can cook in. So I'm gonna put the the flounder in one level. Uh, I'm gonna put the broccoli on top. I'm gonna put the flounder on the bottom level on the parchment paper. Season it up and probably cook it for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Play it by ear and see what happens. I put the uh, peas and carrots in a uh, avocado shell. I've seen somebody on YouTube, they put it in a, a lettuce leaf, right? And I thought that was so cool. They put some veggies in a lettuce leaf and put it in the bamboo steamer. And it, it held up the shape and everything and it steamed nicely. But I didn't have that. So I was like, hmm, what do I have that I could use? So I came up with that. Let's see how it works out. I think that'll work.
Oh yeah, it's getting exciting now, guys. I'm gonna put him on first. Put some broccoli flowers, florets. Oh, I was hoping they were. That's okay. Just hoping they were big ones. What do you think guys? Looking good, right? I didn't really season it that much. Uh, as you know, broccoli doesn't have, you know, a, a very aromatic, uh, you know, smell. I can smell the fish, you know, it doesn't smell delicious, but it looks good, right? So it looks almost done, actually, the broccoli. I'm gonna test it now and see 
if it's soft enough and uh, the fish I'll give it like five seven more minutes and then we'll guys the fish is done before the veggie so I took it off left the veggies on any minute now so I aborted the the avocado shell mission I just put it directly in there on the parchment paper because we're hungry hey guys I'm finished cooking um, that was an experience it's simple you know just load everything into the steamer season steam it up and um, the the peas and carrots um, they took longer for some well I know why because I had them on the top tier and I also had them in those um, avocado shells the steam wasn't getting through the shells it was just having to come over the shells that's why it took longer for these the fish was the first thing that that um, actually uh, was ready right so I'll let you guys see the the full meal so that's the full meal guys that's uh, the gray man trying to eat healthier. I used to eat like this uh, quite a while ago. Pepper on my veggies. Very small amount of salt. And we're about to dig in, guys. Hopefully it's, it's decent. I think it is. I thought about uh, putting some butter on my broccoli, but I just decided not to. I decided to just go even healthier. I'm going to put a little squeeze of lemon on the fish. And the broccoli. There's the fish. That's flounder. Wow, that lemon brings out the flavor. Okay, nice. I like it. That is healthy. I like it. I could really do this several times a week. And when you're transitioning into a healthier lifestyle, guys, you don't have to go cold turkey on everything. You could just do it slowly. You know, you could change one thing at a time. You could change one day of eating differently and then two days of eating differently. You know, it, it works. This is good. This is good, guys. I'm glad I did it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I won't be cooking like this every day. But like I said, I'll be... I'll be incorporating this into my, you know, my weekly habits. Fish is really good. I'm glad I didn't do any butter. Only problem I had was I'd use my small pot and the sides of the steamer were actually hanging over and I didn't realize, I thought I had enough parchment paper to catch all the fluids, the liquids that came off of it. But I didn't. And some of it leaked onto the stove and I was 
mad about that. I'll just clean it up, but amateur mistake. Mm-hmm. This is a good, healthy meal, guys. Very nice. Leave me some comments for you guys who steam your food. Leave me, uh, you know, what's your what's your favorite steamed meal? Maybe I'll try it. Maybe I'll I'll tape it, videotape it, and show you guys. I thought these broccoli flowerettes would be the big ones, but it's okay. Very, very pleased with the meal. As usual, guys, I won't make you watch me eat the whole meal. I still have quite a, quite a bit left and I'm going to finish it. So that was a small piece of fish. So I still have another piece of fish to go and a small amount of broccoli. So, so I'm going to let you guys go now. I'm going to end the video and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. And thank you guys. I see uh, a lot of new subscribers came in. Hello to you guys and welcome. I really appreciate you guys coming in to the channel and hanging out with us. And for the people that were already here, I really appreciate you uh, a lot more than you can imagine. Um, so I think we're sitting at about eight, 845 subscribers so far. And we, we have, uh, we have almost 9,000 watch hours, 9,000, no, 40, 4,900 watch hours, 3,900 watch hours. So we need 4,000 watch hours and we need a thousand subscribers to, to get monetized. And like I told you guys, you, a lot of you don't know because you didn't even see that video. Help. I'm going to, I'm going to need your help. I want to monetize you guys, right? So as I, if I get ever get paid from YouTube, I want to either send you guys money or something, right? So we got to figure it out. We'll work it out as we get closer. I'm sure it won't be much at all in the beginning, but whatever it is, I still want to, I want to bless you guys back because you guys are, are really awesome. More so than I um, imagined, right? All right, so I'm going to end the video so I can finish my, my meal. Um, I have my heat going because it dipped down into the 40s last night again on me. And uh, I took my sleeping bag off too soon, I guess. It's with the crazy, crazy weather, crazy weather. All right, guys. So I love you guys and uh, I'll catch back up with you on the next video.